Hey guys, it's Chelsea. So I wanted to take this time to clear up a few things. Or something. So I have been I have been receiving several emails and phone calls concerning my smoking and drinking. I'm going to tell you guys before I show you these pictures that I have never smoked before in my life and I frankly won't because I don't know that I would stop and as it comes to drinking I'm not gonna deny that I drink with my host family with dinner but I'm not boozing I'm in Germany and I'm not gonna be allowed to drink legally again for like four years so I better just do it every day mmm no so with my Facebook and with a couple of my videos I have been pointing out cultural differences with um, examples more than specifically talking about those things. And quite frankly, several people have been expressing concern about my values and wondering how I could have changed so much. But the thing is that I myself am not making these decisions. It's that these people that I've known for years are concerned about who I am based on the decisions that my friends here are making. Several of my friends back home were worried that I was hanging out with the wrong people because my friends here smoke. Everybody smokes here! What does the wrong people mean? I've never met more mature teenagers in my life. So I'm gonna start with a picture which for some of you will be like me beating a dead horse, but several people saw this picture and didn't read the captions and comments and therefore reacted exactly in the way that I was trying to point out was a cultural weakness. I wouldn't want to say failure. So my caption to this picture was this. Those of you who know me have a feeling toward me, an established perception of who I am. Several of you trust me with your secrets, your children, your car. Trust that I will give you honesty despite how it will make you temporarily feel. You have a picture of me which you connect to, which you connect to how you perceive what I post. I help with children's church, have a job, play in the band, fundraise, love to make people laugh, and haven't been an active member in my church my whole life. I don't smoke, haven't smoked, and will not smoke because, frankly, I don't know that I would stop. Without me telling you guys this, who saw this picture and said, Is that Chelsea? She's changed! Maybe not all of you, but I can guarantee a good amount. Although you already know my faults as well as my determination, one picture of me with a cigarette and a beer so, 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 uh, societally crumbles my trustworthiness and my self-worth. Funny that society gives you the option to judge my self-worth. Yes, at the end of our lives, we are the sum of our actions. Might I remind you, though, that the first without fault should throw the stone. Start living what you preach. Love to the full extent of your ability. It doesn't mean accepting in your heart that people are equal. It means showing that love through your actions. Most of you have heard me say it before, but I'll say it again. Some of the most untrustworthy and unpleasant people I know, notice that I didn't say that I have met, have never touched a cigarette in their lives. Some of the most loving, deep-thinking, reliable people that I have that I love have been dependent on cigarettes or alcohol since high school. I personally don't think it's a good idea, but what I don't think most of you realize is that most of them don't either. So here's to the best of family friends. And some of you don't need to hear this, but what I think is kind of sad is the ones that don't will probably be the ones still watching. So after that, as you guys can imagine, I got loads of messages and phone calls with people, concerned friends and relatives, wondering why I have changed so much, why I've been so irresponsible and I started making bad decisions. So I then posted the following picture, which might really offend some of you. Ooh. So, pretty much where this rooted from. Um, I stopped judging what was right and wrong except for, for my personal decisions. So, for myself personally, of course, there are things that were 
morally incorrect, but I wasn't, I stopped, I stopped judging the worth of a person by what was in their lungs, by, by how they, by how they dealt with their problems. And you might say, of course I do that too. But when you're going to pick out a babysitter and you've got your best friend's daughter who's gotten caught drinking and you walked in on her smoking once and you've got your niece who teaches children's church, who are you going to choose? Who are you going to pick? So if I had made this picture with you guys in mind, I would have kept my religion out of it. But now that the picture is already there and it already has these specific responses, I'm trying to clarify and explain to you guys the culture differences. And my religion is now a part of that. Um, I was raised telling people that everyone was equal at the same time as I pitied and prayed for them for being the way they are. I was raised a Christian and that's why I believe I'm a Christian. But how do I know that my truth is more truth than someone else's when we all are equally as sure of ourselves? Everyone is certain that they know something and therefore seek nothing. Therefore, I'm exactly who I once believed needed to be saved. Okay, so dead horse. Pumbled. But what I've noticed here is that people don't... Don't associate... <sighs> Whether or not you drink, or smoke, or sleep around with how trustworthy you are with your, with, with your religion, or with your friendship. And again, I'm not saying that these things are something that I do, but being accused of these things personally made me realize what, how little they have to do with who a person is. We're all broken people. So, sorry for the rant. Grandma, I promise I won't spend your money on booze. And look at this flag. My host dad got me in a donut. A donut.